Welcome to County Report this week. I'm Lorna Virgili. Thank you for joining us. We start the show in Annapolis. The Maryland General Assembly ended this year's session with unfinished business as legislators failed to approve a state budget for the coming year and an income tax increase to help pay for it. Susan Kennedy was in Annapolis for the final day. Susan? Lorna, the 90-day General Assembly session is coming to a close with lots of items yet to be decided, most importantly, the budget. But in the end, legislators failed to reach an agreement on a package of tax bills. It's the first time since 1992 that the legislature has not completed its work on the budget during the 90 days. Thank you. Now it's up to Governor Martin O'Malley whether or not to call for a special session to allow them to take up a plan to increase income taxes to avoid the most severe cuts. Aside from the budget, the governor called the session solid in other areas. It's been a very, very strong session for jobs and also the environment. The things that we were able to do in our capital budget for uh, schools construction, for water, wastewater infrastructure, and many other things supports about 50,000 jobs in this budget. Craig Rice was in Annapolis representing the council as the final votes on outstanding issues were coming in. You know, we've had these visions of shaping our future for the county. I want to make sure that the decisions that they're making are in line with those. Montgomery County legislators worked diligently throughout the session to soften the blow of the shift of teacher pension costs back to the county, as well as changes in the maintenance of effort law. We are going to be doing some version of a switch of the teachers' pensions. Breaks my heart uh, because it's one of the few areas where Montgomery County actually gets a pretty fair deal. But uh, this maintenance of effort, we want to continue. We want it to be good, but it will have to be readjusted because right now in the present economic climate, we cannot continue where we were a few years ago. The legislature also voted to double the flush fee the tax is used to fund a Chesapeake Bay restoration fund. However, the gas tax proposal was put on the back burner, but lawmakers say the idea is not completely dead. Yeah, I mean, the bottom line is we do need to find revenue to meet our transportation needs, and particularly in Montgomery County, my constituents recognize that we've got uh, the worst traffic gridlock in the country. But for many in Annapolis, the highlight of the session came early when the legislature passed the Marriage Equality Act. But we're deciding here in Maryland that when you walk through the courthouse door with a state-granted marriage license, that give state granted protections that every family deserves to be protected equally under the law. I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report this week.